Now, we hear it all the time as traders that emotions will kill your chances of trading success. And anybody who's been in a trade and allowed emotions to dictate their course of action understand this to be true. Maybe it's moving your stop further from oncoming price because you really can't emotionally handle another trading loss. Maybe it's seeing some quick moves in your favor and you cash out because the amount is going to cover your previous losers. Perhaps it's buying the highs after a big run up or selling the lows after a decline because you can't miss the next move. And whatever thing you've done in the name of emotions, know that it was the absolute wrong thing to do. Emotions and trading will seriously impede the progress of a trader. And nobody wants to miss the boat and not cash in on the large moves, but having a scarcity mentality is the path to ruin. There will always be another trade, but whether you take the trade or not depends on many things. And one reason people may not pull the trigger on the next trade is due to having a string of losses piling up. But pulling the trigger on an entry from a trading system that you've tested is exactly what you must do. If you're trading, you must have a trade plan. And this trade plan will be your lifeline and ensure that you're staying inside the parameters of the trading system that you're using. What happens though if your trade plan has many discretionary aspects? The more you put human input into your trading decisions, the more you'll have emotions lurking in the background ready to make you do something stupid. And this is where mechanical trading systems have their strength if you adhere to the trade plans. The system will always fire off a trade setup and you must commit to taking each one that fits the plan. Let's take a look at some variables that are worth thinking about if mechanical trading is something you've considered. Here, you can see that entries, stops, and targets are laid out on the chart, leaving with no discretionary aspects except moving them around key and structural levels. The trade plans and the instructions will tell you exactly what has occurred that makes that a setup. You're not flying blind, and if the mechanical trading system that you're considering does not explain the process, just pass on the system. And the trade plan will tell you when to move your stop, where to move your stop, and that's outlined on the chart, where to take your profits, and in this example, where to have a runner for bigger profits. What are the benefits of having the setups printed? Well, there's no guesswork. You know at a glance if entries, the targets, and stops are near any concerning price structure, and it allows precise trade management when price meets certain targets. And since the setups are printed, it also allows you to easily backtest as far back in history that you have data for. What are the benefits of the targets? Well, you know exactly where to get out when price reaches the area. The feelings of greed can be overcome as you place your order to exit ahead of time. And you don't have to watch the charts every minute of every trading session. Now, what other way is there to test the validity of the system historically than through backtesting? You can certainly forward test something you should be doing anyhow. But can you imagine forward testing for five years? The same amount of time you can back test during the course of a week. And once you get an idea of the success of the system, it can aid you in being disciplined in following the rules. Having confidence with the method you use when interacting with your trading charts will go miles towards you implementing according to the trade plan that you've set out. Think of a GPS. If you're venturing out on a driving journey using a GPS, you put your trust in traveling the unknown path to a guidance system. There may be variables such as accidents or road closures that impede you. However, you'll still probably reach your destination by following the guidance system. And in trading, that guidance system is the trading plan for the method you're trading. When trading, the outcome on each individual trade is unknown. But if following a properly tested system, you will probably reach the destination of more dollar wins than losses. Discipline can be an important byproduct of diligent backed and forward testing. Without discipline, your chance of trading survival are almost none. Backtesting will give you an idea of the validity of the trading system, but it'll just be an idea of the validity. Depending on how you backtest, you have the benefit of hindsight that may alter how you take each trade. It also will not take into account slippage that may have occurred during the trade entry or the exit. You don't have to worry about emotions taking over like you do during live trading. Emotional trading where you ignore the trading rules can take a profitable trading system and turn it into a losing system. It also won't cover slippage and no fills that can occur in real time trading. You should account for those variables when you're considering the results. The most difficult part of following mechanical rules is having the ability to push the buttons when required. Like any habit, this can only be ingrained if you are consistently taking action according to the trade plan. Mechanical trading systems and rules are not simply enter here, exit here. In the system shown earlier, the counterpunch trader, 
There are mechanical adjustments around key levels and market structure. These can put you above or below any roadblocks that may impede the progress of your trade. Now the secret is, once again, to be disciplined in your execution. Without that discipline, it makes no difference what method you are trading. You will fail as the many who have gone before you.